Coach, did you notice it was sunny out there you're today? Trying to make it a game. Oh, God. Seriously, <laughs> you're just trying to make it a game. <laughs> She's like, ha-ha. No. All right. Courtney, Deja, Kennedy, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to meet with us. Coach, if you wouldn't mind uh, opening up with a few comments about the game. Yeah, just really happy to be advancing. You know, they call it survive and advance for a reason, and I think we survived that one um, in, in large part because of who's sitting right next to me. Uh, found a way. Not sure it was the game that you all are going to want to press repeat and keep forever, but not sure that matters. You know, it's, we're just glad to be out of here with a win. Um, and it's a big accomplishment that you guys should be prideful of. Winning in March is hard. So onwards. Great. Thank you very much. We'll open up the floor for questions. <clears throat> A uh, question for anyone. Was that final play where DJ got, gets the ball and gets the left wing, screens around Tiani, um, was that the intended play design? It's exactly as, that's exactly <laughs> as we wanted it. We have a play call, but I can't tell you what that is. Um, yeah, we felt like it was a great execution. Toddy made the pass. Trust her there. We had a timeout. We, she knew that. Um, we wanted Deja going left, and um, we wanted Tiani setting the screen so she could trail for the rebound. Um, we would have really loved for them to foul us, and they did, so that was even better. Um, when Liz fouls out, oh. kind of what's like, I guess, the energy on the sideline <laughs> and what's going through your mind, Coach? That one's for me, huh? <laughs> um, you know, Alyssa does a lot of everything for us, so um, especially because she can slide positionally. So if you're in your man, you can do multiple things, either aggressively on a switch or aggressive ball screen, and you can also play her in various spots in your zone. So she gives you m lots of options. Um, and so as much as they're all valuable, when you take her away, the versatility that that provides. So we wanted to play a little bit more of our zone. Toddy's really good in our zone, and we were just so small. We couldn't do that. Um, so for me, I felt like it, it, it gave away, it, it, it took away our versatility defensively, which I thought we really needed. Um, and so fortunately, the guys that, that came in stepped up and did what they needed to do. Uh, question for the players. How important was uh, Tiani setting up down the stretch when Alyssa fouled out? Obviously? Oh, my gosh. Tiani Key. That's all I can <laughs> say. Like, she stepped up huge. When her name was called, she was ready to do whatever we needed her to do on the floor. She came and rebounded. She got a post up, made two huge free throws, set great screens. Um, and, yeah, I think she just played her, re her role really, really well tonight. Uh, so much growth for her, you know, in this big moment. It's March. You know, a lot of things can happen, but she really stepped up and came off the bench, but she gave a lot of good minutes. So I'm very proud of her. I think we all are. So very excited to see where she, you know, brings. Yeah, hey, uh, Jacob Bench from the Associated Press. For Deja, can you just maybe walk me through that, that play that you were just talking about a minute ago? Maybe what did you see? Just can you, no, no. <laughs> just can you unwrap it and unpack it for, for us? Yeah, um, we knew that, like I said, I wanted to go left. I knew I wanted to go left. Um, and I was really just thinking, get to the rim. Um, I knew that I would either get a layup or get to the free throw line, which is my comfort zone. Um, but you know, I knew if they gave me the pull up, I would have taken it. But uh, that wasn't really falling for me the second half. So I knew in my head, I was just like, get to the rim, get what they uh, give, uh, take what they give you. And when it went in, I was like, at first I thought they called a charge, and I was going to be really upset. But um, no, they, I, it went in, and, and we got the foul, and I made the free throw. Um, so there was a lot of motions in that one play. And then uh, for Kennedy, just how would you describe maybe St. John's energy and effort in the first half compared to the second half? Maybe what changes did you notice that they made that forced uh, you and your teammates ultimately to adjust and you know hold them off down the stretch and go all the way to the buzzer? Just how did you notice St. John's and how did you defend that? Um, yeah, they had a lot of momentum. I think once they saw the ball go in, I think in the first half they weren't shooting as well. But um, I think what really like hurt us is like our off. Uh, their offensive rebounds, uh, some of our term turnovers that, you know, transition to um, open buckets for them. Uh, but I think it was really just like their, you know, their, their momentum and seeing the ball go in for them uh, made it hard for us to, you know, guard and uh, contain and stuff. So, but we executed it really well and we won, so. <laughs> And then just last thing for me, for uh, for Coach, just when you notice St. John's tenacity and, you know, motivation there in that fourth quarter, mm -hmm. tying the game, yeah. uh, putting your team there up against up against the wall, so to speak, just um, maybe how much can you speak to your own team's, you know, strength and toughness there down the stretch to be able to go down to the wire, get that bucket that you guys needed, and then, of course, like you said, survive in advance? Yeah, it takes so much grit, right, to have an advance. You go up 8-0, I think the fans are happy and the coaches are not because we know the switch, the the, the the way the game can be played throughout. Um, you know, we, they were really tough on the glass. Uh, Patterson went, and we knew she was dangerous. And like, like Toddy said, the basket started looking really big. And these guys just, 
uh, they've just got enormous toughness. I mean, they really do. And, uh, you know, we talk about grit all the time, and um, they they showed it when we needed it, you know. And I give our league a lot of credit. We've been in these tough tough contests night after night. You know, we've, we've had so many close games. Um, and so... There's two you, two options, right? You you walk away or you or you walk into it. And these guys just thankfully keep choosing to walk into it. Um, they showed some emotion, which I expect. Um, but yeah, it's you know that's a, a player's game out there in the uh, late late in the game. I, I can make a few calls here and there, but these guys got to go make plays. So uh, certainly glad they did that. Deja, uh, Sam Gore, ESPN. Just wanted to ask you. This team seems to be a very close knit group. Could you kind of speak to? the collective chemistry you guys have developed this year? Yeah, um, I think our chemistry is something unlike any other team. I don't think you see that a lot. Um, and we have it, we built it off the court and that definitely shows on the court for us. We stay so connected. I think that showed in this game today when we easily could have broken apart and kind of just, you know, let them really take over and we didn't. We, we were all, talk, our talk was we have to stay connected, stay together. Um, and we all just want to play for each other. We all want to win so bad. So we all have uh, like goals and, um, so really, that, that gives us a little bit more to play for. Uh, and we love playing with each other. It's very exciting. We, we have great energy. We make it fun for each other. Um, so yeah, I think our energy definitely carries. And if I can extend on that, because I think it's a great question, is the, um, the competitiveness that comes with that, right? These guys are so competitive that, that they're, they know they need each other. Right, it's not like we make super psych pet bags and things like that. You know, they don't hold hands and sing kumbaya. They compete um, and know they need each other. Um, and I think there's a, a great amount of respect for one another. They, they're they're different. They they have their own little look at these two. They they have their own little things, right? But there's an enormous amount of respect they have for one another. And and um, we talk about that as a team, as a coach, um, how important that is. And I think nights like tonight, it's just on full display. They can they can be competitive, but they know they need each other and um, pays off. And another question for Deja. I was talking to your mom after the game about the oh, like, heart thing you do. Yeah. You said it kind of goes back to a childhood thing with you guys like blowing kisses to each other. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that a little bit more? Yeah, I have a really close relationship with my mom. She was my coach as well. Um, so, you know, she, we just, every time I saw her, in the, well, she was my coach, so we would always do that um, before games. But once she started watching from the stands, um, we either, I look at each other, we either, either blow a kiss or now we do a little heart. And so we form a heart um, before every game and then we did it after as well. So it's kind of just, it's just a representation of how close we are. And another question for either player, um, just touch on Eva Hodgson, her leadership on the mm -hmm. court. I saw, especially she was getting really fired up in that second quarter mm -hmm. there. What was she saying to you guys to just keep motivating you? Patty. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, um, she was just, telling us to like stay together um she was like let's go like you know let's put our foot on the gas and keep going um because we all need each other and uh in that fourth quarter uh, when we were down she definitely like hold held us all together um in a huddle and i thought that was really um a seniority thing you know for her to do um because we definitely needed that and we leaned on each other and we just told, told each other like we got our backs and um, I thought that was like really a standout moment, you know, and for our team, you know, because I mean we faced so much adversity throughout this whole season um, that I felt like we really needed this moment, and we we definitely um, executed that really well. So we had all the we had a handful of alums send in a video uh, to our team, um, and we surprised them with it earlier today. And um, I sort of looked at Eva later on in the day and said, you know, next time that's going to be you. Right, and so let's prolong it. Um, and so, yeah, she's she really cares about about the tradition here and about keeping these guys together. We've got a uh, question from uh, uh, our Zoom setup, Mitchell. Uh, do you hear us all right? And uh, if so, go ahead and ask Mitchell. your question. Yeah, can you all hear me? You sure can. Great. Um, so, uh, for Coach, um, you know, Alyssa goes out there in, mm. in, the, in the fourth quarter. I think about six minutes mm. to play. Um, you guys endure a scoring drought, I think, of about three or four minutes. How, how did her absence, I guess, kind of change things? Oh, I know you're not happy with that question. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I like you, so we're all right. Um, you know, it's just adversity. You know, we, we were rattled, clearly. We were rattled. Um, didn't have a much of – when we were running our sets, we weren't running with great pace and assuredness. When we were playing with freedom, we were settling. So we were just a little rattled. Um, and then when Alyssa fouls out, you know, she creates extra possessions for us. She's – um, you know what you're going to get. You can trust that. So it just added to our rattleness. It, was, it wasn't a game where we felt settled the whole time, so it just kind of added to that, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, then I just had one for Deja. You know, watching from, 
from home here, um, you know, when, when the timeout is called, I, I kind of assume, having watched you guys all year, <laughs> that you're getting the ball in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, and it seemed like St. John's assumed that too, the way they collapsed on you in the paint. How, how much, I guess, do you live for those kind of moments? <laughs> Yeah, I love those moments. Um, I'm a competitor, so I'm just going to do whatever it takes to win. Um, and with Coach putting the ball in my hands, uh, just trying to make a play, you know, whether that was, you know, if they doubled, I was ready to make a pass. Um, just anything like that, just trying to make a play down the stretch and uh, reel my team to a win. Because, you know, previously she made the pass to Tiani. Um, she also made that pass. Um, so, yeah, it was bo both. hit both free good. throws. Tiani hit both Tiani free throws. <laughs> Thank you, Mitchell. You have not, uh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Question for Anna. question for anybody: um, Is there some sort of like motivation in feeling underseated at all that's fueling you guys? Felt like yes. we. Oh. <laughs> you speak for yourself. I felt like I was worried we were proving them right with how we played part of that game. What do you got? Yeah, um, you know, in a way, it's just another time that we have to prove ourselves. You know, um, it's the second year in the row in a row that we felt. You know, underseated, but at the same time, we have to prove ourselves game in each game, and we definitely had to do it tonight with, with how down to the wire that game went. But, um, you know, it definitely puts a little bit of a chip on our shoulder, but um, we just got to keep proving ourselves each night. And, yeah, a question, kind of a follow-up for um, Kennedy, if you want to touch on this. You guys are preparing to play Ohio State. Should be a pretty similar environment to at Arizona <laughs> last year. How are you using that experience to inform your preparation for this next game? Um, to silence them. <laughs> I mean, I think last year we did exactly that. Um, and I think Coach Walt is um, the perfect guy for, for this <laughs> game, you know. Um, last year it was build a wall, so he'll probably have something new. But um, <clears throat> we're just going to keep going, um, and we're not going to let up, honestly. I mean, home court, so. Anything else? Courtney, Kennedy, Deja, congratulations, Thank and we'll you. see you on Monday. Thanks, guys. You.